Hello everybody, Average Gamer, welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the United Nations, where we just finished our first batch of nuclear whistles, or miss nuclear missiles, sorry. So as of now, we have 180 missiles for 97 launchers. What we're going to do, we're going to pause here, we're actually going to tell this thing to go to slow. We're going to pause. We're going to do our first actual official strike on Ghana with all... 110 of our missiles. So we... We directly fired... Right? Game. All my launchers are deployed. Saying I have no missiles. Hello? SRBM tri- Oh, I just deployed them. And then deployed the nuclear missiles on them. Which is what I thought they might do. Okay. So select the SRBM. We're going to say... Um, all in view. See transport. To there. Yeah, did it, it did it over here as well. On view, make sure. Yep. See transport to their place. Yeah. Uh, basic missile trucks. You're pretty much all going to get scrapped. Oh, highlighted types. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Here I had the plan to do this massive nuclear strike. And I'm going to assume it was because of uh, twofold. Number one, because I don't have the range. And then two... Kind of... Uh, come here, please. I'm assuming the number two is because the like the launchers weren't within range as well, so the missiles couldn't get range from where they were, and the units weren't deployed. In, well, it's actually a little bit of the both. Well, that kind of sucks. So I got to deploy everything over here. Then I got to have to highlight every. Oof. And they need to see a unit. What 
Let's try something here. I think now theoretically is they will auto missiles will auto deploy as long as they're within range. So if I now send these guys to do the same thing. So what do they have here? Yeah, it's an 85 millimeter towed anti-aircraft anti gun. Well, let's bring the battleship in. And you're going to be ordered to bombard there. So we lost two F4F F Wildcats. Not a big deal. Yep. Units are now shilling the location to suppress it for now. Some research done. Yeah, so we lost three fighters. Not the biggest of deals whatsoever. Their aircraft that we can replace pretty easily. And they're just going to constantly shell the location. So they might not actually damage the unit, but they're going to be shelling the location. Until these guys show up. Then we start firing the missiles. So and there's these guys as well. We fired the missiles and then the missiles. Withdraw to refuel and rearm, please.
I don't want to fight a conventional war. I want to fight a nuclear war. I want to lob the missiles. I mean, I can land troops no problem and take Ghana and then give everyone their independence back. Or I can use nuclear weapons and completely annihilate it and then give everyone their, uh, their, <laughs> their independence back. Most likely, I'm going to do number two. So we know they got a really good anti-aircraft uh, anti unit in Loam. They've repaired a lot of their stuff, so I can't believe... Wait. Yeah, so all those nukes have deployed to their launchers. All of these guys, what I'm actually going to do don't need any of you guys deployed at this point. Every now and then you gotta go back to those areas and like reissue the reserve order for some reason. So you can go into reserve, it's okay. Those are the launchers. Back up to 100%. Yep. Right, I want you to continue to bombard that location, please. And once we have our... Wait. Have they caught up to the cargo ships and, and, and passed them? that location please why are you trying to go over there I want you to bombard that location did I oh no, you're right there okay, you'll go through there and there Zimbabwe and Chad are now at war. Mental note on that one. And there's our launchers there. There's our other batch of launchers. And then our other batch there. Okay. Oh, 
Oh! What happened? You ran out of fuel? Something I can think of is you ran out of fuel. Uh, let's start putting our subs also near their ports. They only have th three ports. And well, you know what? The extra sub will go towards their capital port. Launchers ready to go. You're gonna go through, give these guys support. You guys are gonna move back up again. This time, go over here. There we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, build military supply depot. I want a barracks. Whoops. Barracks will be good to go in 20 days. I should have started building that earlier. So if I selected you. But you do not have missiles. You, no missiles. No missiles. No missiles. Wait, did the missiles go back into my pot? Because none of them were fired? They did. Okay. So, good news, bad news. Um, oh my god, I just realized something. No. I just had a moment of, of clarity. A little, no, you. I got stabbed in the back last time I did this. So we'll see how that works. We're going to start supporting them. Then we're going to place our nuclear missiles, or our nuclear launchers, here. And launch our missiles. In. How much longer we got? We got 13 days. Three more things of research done. What else can we get? Armored designs. We get the, ooh, the 120, 20, uh, 120 millimeter mortar. Some research bonuses as well. Yay. Weapon industrial advances, yay. Uh, sub improvements, yay. Tilt rotor aircraft, yay. Dark matter theories, oh, we're getting there. We'll put you on the list. I'll put you there. Might as well just research you guys and get you out of the way. Interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to order you to bombard there and you to bombard there. So we'll start knocking out units. Sea power for the win! House Atreides! The Dune reference for you. I don't think you can bombard, can you? Yeah, you cannot. You're more there just to cut off the, uh, the 
the bad guys at this point. here as well. We got five dates till this barracks is done, so what we're going to do is put a cut in here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.